What's going on, everybody? We have the new kit reveal for Rekka. This has been someone I've been very interested in because of how powerful the Black Beast is. And this really will determine how strong that team is, right? Because the Black Beast has some really, really insane synergies. But one of the things that he's really looking for are some kind of people that he can throw in front of him so that he can stay alive, so that he can get benefit from his passives. And so we're hoping that this character can either do that or do some insane damage. Let's dive into her kit. First off, we have the basic ability Dark Arrow. Drain health from self equal to 20% of current HP. Attack the enemy for damage and deal an additional damage equal to the amount of health drained. And you can see that's 190% damage plus additional damage equal to the amount of health drained. So this is interesting. Remember that the Black Beast is constantly going to be draining HP from your allies. So this 20% of current HP is probably not going to be like 20% of her maximum HP. Typically, at like a gear 8, level 60, 7-star character, uh, for example, like Elra here, like an attacker, you're looking at like 20 to 27,000 HP. Let's be, I guess you say, realistic 20k HP. So that's going to deal an additional, let's say, what is that, 4k HP? That's actually pretty good. That basic's probably going to hit quite a bit, but they are going to kind of cycle uh, their HP or through their HP rather quickly. However, the attackers honestly draining their HP is probably good for the team because you want to get those feast stacks for the Black Beast. First special though, we got three ability costs, three at start. Um, drain health from self equal to 20% of current HP. So similar to the same amount of the basic attack the enemy for damage and deal additional damage equal to the amount of health drain inflict days and then the max is 270 percent inflict days and weak minded for two turns pretty interesting um weak minded is really really solid actually especially for those later raid stages when you need to land things like bleeds um whatever debuff you're trying to land um like expose etc days is pretty good mainly for pvp i would say um, but can be used uh, to kind of get some effect in some of the raids. This is going to do some pretty good damage, to be honest. Um, this is going to hit pretty hard. 270% is not a bad multiplier. And then that extra 20%, as I said, is going to hit for additional about 4K. Uh, well, after armor, it's going to be a lot less. But, you know, it's going to be a nice hit, I would say, so far. Then we have the second special, three costs, three at start, drain health, 20%, just as always, attack enemies for 80% damage, and also... The amount of health drain 170 percent plus the amount of health drain okay so a decent aoe multiplayer is kind of on the lower end of things but the additional damage probably makes it on par with some of the other aoe's that you've seen like striders aoe for example is a good comparison striders has a lot higher multiplier but he also gets crit rate so you know striders is probably still a little bit better <laughs> than this one but pretty similar i would say then we have the passive ability. So on turn, gain deadly, 50% chance to gain deadly, but max is gain deadly. If the character already has deadly, gain might. If the character already has might, gain haste. Pretty interesting. So, yeah, I mean, the passive's kind of interesting, I would say. There's probably some sort of deadly slash might generation for the team so that you can kind of get this passive activated because, you know, if you have, let's say, deadly for one turn, well, it should expire at the end of turn. So you're not really going to chain itself into itself, but maybe someone else can grant yourself might or grant haste. What is kind of curious to me is the Black Beast, right? So the Black Beast is going to have that focus. So you're going to be able to apply those debuffs, right? The leader ability. But also you could see this ability is going to kind of drain shadow allies of their hp every turn which is why i was saying that you're probably not going to have that max hp and then of course you're looking for people to die quickly so honestly the draining hp mechanic on the attackers is kind of a good thing i would say for the overall team so you know kind of interesting i would say with the black beast but to be honest this isn't really convincing me of the team so far we only have one additional member to really consider for the Dol Guldur faction, but Charu really needs to have some way to protect Black Beast because really the team kind of falls apart as soon as Black Beast dies, 
right? Because you really want to stack up that feast. You really want to get his life seal to give you some, you know, I guess you'd say annoyance for the enemies. You really want to kind of get some counterattacks going and all the good stuff that you want to have with Black Beast. But also having to kind of deal with enemies multiple times because of the binding is really the strength of this team. Honestly, this kit, pretty mediocre, I would say. Um, not anything that I'm like, wow, this is really, really good. Just like an overall decent single target DPS with a little bit of AOE, I guess. So not necessarily single target because you do have this AOE skill, but I don't know, like this AOE is not like super strong. I guess it has a low cooldown, which is kind of nice. I'm just not really super into Rekka at the current moment until we see the rest of the team. And that's really what we need, right? We really need to see the supporting members for the Black Beast because this is just a DPS, right? Like she's not really helping out the team uh, at large. Like not providing any tank, not providing any like healing or anything like that. I mean, she is giving you the weak minded and the daze, which is kind of cool. Um, but we're considering for one target, right? So that's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> um, I guess in raids it can be, but yeah, I'm just not really impressed with her. I have to see Charu and see how she fits into the comp. So let me know what you think about Rekka and the Dol Gulder faction so far. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all for the next one.